Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Welcome to your weekly astrology. This week, we have some slight opposition with Uranus. So expect surprises and make sure you listen. Also, we have a full moon firing us up in passionate Aries. Here's your weekly astrology. Hello, fabulous Pisces. How are you doing? This week is all about power and coming into your power. And of course, that adventure I was talking about last week is coming on pretty strong this week. It's time to stretch your boundaries, to grow, to explore. Now, you know, for some of you, you might travel a lot, you might explore all the time, you know, then in which case it's a case of learning, of, of expanding your mind in a new way, of doing something completely different that shakes your energy up. It kicks off with Mercury opposing Uranus. Now, there may be a conversation that gets overheated or overexcited, or you're like, make a radical decision to do something that involves adventure. Fair enough, but do think it through. One doesn't have to speak just in the moment to create change just in the moment. You know, I'm in Aries, I do that all the time. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. So take a moment if you want to make a radical decision about changing where you live in terms of like moving countries, having an adventure, even studying something. Yeah, maybe. Just be a little bit cautious that you're making the right decision. Now, Venus, the planet of love, is joining Mercury in your adventure zone. So you... You want excitement. You want a bit of spice in your life this week. You, you, you don't want the same old boring, boring. You want to do something that, that makes you think, makes you breathe in and feast upon life. So factor that in in some way. It doesn't matter what your situation is. Try and find adventure this week because it will recharge your batteries and, and get you hungry to, to experience new things and to explore. We also have... Mars opposing Chiron, the wounded healer. There may be some issues for you this week about how powerless or powerful you feel and you're being urged to be brave, to take that Mars energy and truly step into your power and find the security within yourself to do what you've got to do. You know, courage is one of the key words for this week. Finally, we have the full, well, we have Venus opposing Uranus with that same energy about wanting to explore and having like crazy conversations but that's the same day as the full moon. And the full moon is all about your security and how you can feel secure in yourself and your self-worth as well, actually. So if you're not loving yourself enough or you're a bit insecure at the moment, that might kind of make you feel a bit fragile, that full moon. But on the other hand, the full moon is trying to show you how to be more secure and where true foundations and security lay so look out for a dream look out for a feeling look out for a sudden inspiration on what you can do to ground yourself and feel secure you are amazing it's really important that you work on your self-worth Pisces are very very sensitive and the slightest thing I know I've got five plants in Pisces the slightest thing can sort of throw you off track this is a week to really find out how to be secure for yourself build up your self-worth, which in turn builds up your external security. Let's see what the tarot have to say. If you're not into tarot, see you next week if you are. Let's have a little look at Pisces. Okay, Pisces, you may be confused this week about what direction you're going in. I won't worry about that too much. Um, there is a, a friendship or a union of souls which is helping you work things out, helping you work with those internal struggles you've been going through. Has there been a friend that around you also that you, you didn't trust in some way? Are you reacting too strongly to that? Look at how you uh, retaliate if you feel that somebody's not been nice to you. And, and also make sure, let me just put a card on that. Yeah, make sure that you're right because there is actually a friendship there which has lots of happiness but can occasionally have a power struggle or it might be an intimate relationship. Fundamentally though, you've got the sun here which is joy and happiness. The Ten of Swords, I'll be honest with you, that betrayal link is still there. Is there someone in your life that you have heaven and hell with? One minute is great, the next minute is terrible. One minute is great, the next minute is terrible. Well, the full moon is saying to you, you know, you need more structure in your life when it comes to your emotions. It may be that you're, you're going to make a, a shift in your life and it grounds you and you become the king of cups. Now, you're a Pisces, so the king of cups is saying, you know, it's about 
finding that that strength, the king's strength to overcome any of the things, especially if somebody's messing with your mojo. You're thinking about the past quite a lot this week as well. And there may be someone from your past popping up. Did you have upheaval in the past that's stopping you being in the present? You know, is it the past that caused you a lot of drama and, and it makes you more cautious about having an adventure or doing things different? You know, maybe the full moon can help you put that to bed and, and to let go that past trauma to move forward. You're a feisty young energy this week and I believe you're going to warrior your way through the past to move onwards and there are some great new friendships around you so if you're grieving a friendship or an ex-lover that was kind of you know a bit dramatic there are new opportunities around you victory is ahead but it's about you having the courage to adventure forward and not get stuck in the past I send you so much love take care and I'll speak to you soon Thanks for watching, my lovely. Do come and visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L. I do interactive tarot every day and astrology. And if you want a free compatibility chart and your natal chart with all the details for free, michelleknight.com. And also, if you love the astrology, horoscope.co.uk. See you there.